have to start with data analytics. First is the data analytics and for data analytics, there is a document which is required and which is generally made during the clinical trial process. That is the statistical analysis plan. So statistical analysis plan or SEP, it is a detailed description of the statistical analysis to be performed on the clinical data correct, collected during the clinical trial based on the statistical analysis described in the CSP. This includes the rationale and references for why particular statistical methods are appropriate for planned analysis. So statistical analysis plan is what? It is a detailed description of the statistical analysis, like in the clinical trial protocol also the analysis that how it will be done, what is the method and procedure and software which is used. That is explained, but that is explained, that is not explained in detail, that is in a brief. Then there is a separate document which is known as a statistical analysis plan is made in and which describes that how the statistical analysis will be performed on the data which is collected during the clinical trial process. And, and this statistical analysis plan is also made on the basis of the detail regarding the statistical analysis, which is explained in the clinical study protocol. And this includes the rationale and references for why particular statistical methods are appropriate for the planned analysis. And uh, this also includes the rationale. Rationale means the overall description and the references that why a particular statistical method or a statistical analysis, it is appropriate for planned statistical analysis. Okay. So this is the statistical analysis plan. A detailed and organized statistical analysis plan is essential for every clinical trial to support repeatability. The SAP is meant to be a thorough document that includes a thorough technical description of the key aspects of the analysis stated in the protocol. So uh, the statistical analysis plan, it contains... Uh, it is essential for every clinical trial. It is made for every clinical trial and it is generally made by the biostatistician only. Okay. And uh, uh, so that, and this is statistical analysis plan is made so that in case if it is required to repeat the anal uh, analysis or maybe the analysis uh, means it needs to be uh, presented or any information which is need to be or for some in, uh, in in any of the process, if the statistical analysis needs to be repeated, then in that case, by using this plan, the same statistical analysis can be repeated, and it contains all the uh, it contains all the information about the description of the key aspects of the analysis uh, related to the especially related to the specifically related to the statistical analysis, which is stated in the protocol. Additionally, it has comprehensive instructions for carrying out the statistical analysis of the primary, secondary, and additional data. So whatever data is, uh, whatever data it is, uh, we have got from the statistical analysis, which is done, that is the primary data, secondary data, and the additional data, so that we all, so that all data is explained in the statistical analysis that how that data will be analyzed and how that data will be handled how missing information will be handled that all information is given in the statistical analysis contrary to the protocol the sep out to provide a thorough explanation of the statistical technique to be applied as well as a definition of the statistical output that will be included in the clinical study report okay so now um, uh, on uh, on the other hand, in the protocol, this uh, statistical analysis, which is given, so, so that is given in very brief and the explanation of statistical technique is only explained, but in the SEP, what is stat, what are the statistical and, uh, techniques which will be applied, what is the software which is used, how the data will be handled, that all is given in the document. And also the result which is obtained, that is also included. And the result finally, which is obtained through this, it is included in the clinical study report, okay? So the SEP is often created separately and prepared after the protocol has been decided upon. So first the uh, protocol is made. So generally when uh, we talk about the clinical research documentation, 
so protocol is the very first document which is made after uh, like before the commencement of the clinical trial process and after the approval of the protocol only the other documents are made so but all the other documents like ib uh, or informed consent form these all documents are made before the initiation or before the commencement of the clinical trial process but this uh, sap it is made after the clin uh, after the clinical trial process starts okay and then on the basis of the protocol which is approved the uh, statistical analysis plan is prepared so statistical analysis plan should ideally be created by a biostatistician and input from the lead investigator and in accordance with the protocol so as i said that there is no role of medical writer in making this statistical analysis plan biostatistician is responsible for creating this addition uh, is, uh, uh, for creating this sap and he can take the input from lead investigator and in the following the protocol this document is created prior to data analysis and before treatment unblinding the sap should be completed so uh, before the uh, before the stage comes when we have to do the data analysis and before the treatment uh, before treatment unblinding the sap should be completed okay any modifications to the methodology should be explained in the sep if there are any between the protocol and analysis plan so in case if uh, from the completion uh, from the completion of the protocol and the clinical trial start and of uh, and uh, the initiation of the sep so okay so the time difference between the uh between the preparation of the two documents if there is any change in the methodologies which is used so in that case that should be updated in the statistical analysis plan the sap must contain a concise overview of the trials aim and object objectives trial population design calculations for the sample size along with the reasons and underlying assumptions and randomization procedures so in the sep there should be a overview of the trial aim that what is the aim or objective of the trial why this clinical trial is being conducted then overall information about the trial population that what is the population which is used in this uh, trial the design which is followed what are the calculations which is to be done for the sample size how like how the sample size is created or calculated if it is a randomized trial then how what are the randomization procedures which are used so that all explanation is given in the statistical analysis plan along with that the statistical methods such as efficacy analysis safety data analysis reporting norms etc must be thoroughly explained in the sep so the statistical methods which are used the uh, like uh, efficacy analysis like safety data analysis and reporting norms so all this information should also be uh, discussed in the statistical plan okay however the degree of specificity varies on the complexity of the trial so now the specification or the specificity can varies uh, related to the complexity of the trial okay so now this is the layout of like how the data which is related to the clinical trial process it uh, it is handled so uh, in this process what happens first the protocol is developed the very first step the protocol is developed and after the protocol only the clinical data management team like clinical data management team is a separate team of like 5 to 10 personals okay in that uh, they are responsible for crf crf is what case record form so they are responsible for crf development and the data management plan so there are two documents which are developed uh, by the crf the uh, clinical data management team that is a crf which is known as a clinical uh, case record form and data management plan these two documents are developed and then after that on the basis of that only the database is developed okay so this happens before the initiation this process happens before the initiation of the clinical trial process now after that the clinical trial process starts and now the data which is collect the data which is collected from the clinical trial study and uh, any external data if any external data is available and also the data which is collected from the clinical trial study so that uh, uh, so that data is uh, feed into the uh, database okay and uh, then after that and of that data there will be a quality data quality review medical review 
and coding. The data will be coded by the certified coders and serious adverse event reconciliation will occur. Means the quality of the data will be checked. Quality and integrity of the data will be checked. Medical review will be conducted. That data which is obtained that will be created. Generally coded, generally the adverse e e events which are reported, they are coded. Okay, so that coding is done by a certified coder and then uh, adverse event reconciliation will be done like it is studied that whether the adverse events they are associated with the with that particular uh, drug or not and then after that if there is any query. Okay, so if there is any query, uh, then in that case, uh, the data manager they send the query report then the site where the study is being conducted that will be they will respond to the query and that will be updated in the database then after that the quality assurance staff they'll perform the quality control and also they will perform the database and they will also make the database quality control report which is sent to the regulatory authorities and then after when all this procedure is done means during after the clinical trial process is completed then at the close out process or at the close out stage the database is locked okay now there is no more corrections no more entry will be done after dlp that is database lock point there will be no correction there will be no entry that will be done database once locked means it will be locked so then after that when the database is locked so using the same data that is extracted the data is then analyzed as per the statistical as per the sap statistical analysis plan and then after the clinical study report is and then after that from this statistical analysis plan the data which is analyzed and after that whatever observation which is made so that will be reported in the clinical study report and this clinical study report is a final report which is made and that this is submitted to the regulatory authorities okay so this is how the process is this is how this whole process is done okay so starting from the uh, starting from the initiation of the clinical trial process and then what happens with the data during the clinical trial process and what happens with the data once the clinical trial process is complete okay understood everyone is it clear